What's up guys, Evil Deer here. So today I want to tell you the story about how I almost, as a kid, got killed by my dad because I drove him insane so much. Now he didn't try to like physically kill me or anything, he didn't like choke me out, but it felt like it at the time that I would possibly be killed as a result of my actions. Anyway, before I jump directly into that story, I just want to say thank you to all you guys out there because I've had so many subscribers, like people sign up to watch my videos over the last month and a bit. Like I've literally had this channel for maybe a month and a half and I'm almost close. 200 subscribers that's in, that's insane there's 200 of you people out there who actually listen to me don't you guys have a life Jesus no joking joking I love you all I love you deeply from the bottom of my or well, the upper part of my heart rub away rub away okay so here's the story so at the time I think I was probably like nine maybe ten years old some somewhere around that point but my dad was in the living room and he was watching TV and he was watching his sh this show I don't remember what it was but I just remember it was his favorite show anyway so me and my brothers were running around the in Inside the house going bang 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 doing the cops and robbers thing and go ah, you didn't get me no I got you me, 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 type of thing driving my dad insane as he's trying to watch this show and he got up to the point where he's like get the hell out of my house you're making too much noise rah, rah, rah. so we all run outside and then we start running around the house and now the TV's right next to the window and the couch is right next to the window and of course when we're doing our shootouts it's right next to his window and we're like, <laughs> like shooting at each other and then you hang out the window and he's like Get the hell out of here, I'm trying to watch my show. I can't remember the rest of it. But anyway, after a while, my brother's like, we better stop this. But no, I was just, I don't know what I was doing. I decided it was a good idea to go back into the house and then start playing with my toy trucks, like literally in front of him and the TV. I think I probably did it on purpose. I don't know why I did that. But anyway, I'm playing there and he's like, get out of here. And then I think it was probably like the first time ever I just randomly swore at my dad and he just snapped like, he just got up and he went straight for the wooden spoon. Now, for those who don't know, we had this big wooden spoon. It was like strategically placed above the TV. And normally what he would do is he would lean forward in his couch, possibly lift his hand up towards the wooden spoon. And that was it, game over. We wouldn't do any more. So he got up, he was about to grab the spoon. Like he physically got out of his chair. That was a really bad thing. Don't make the dad get out of the chair. And at that point, I was still being a smart ass about this. Like I was like doing something. I can't remember what it was, but he didn't go for the wooden spoon he just came at me and I was like oh and I ran straight to my room and like we were in the living room at the time I ran around the corner straight to my room closed the door locked it and I was like hey I'm like I thought this was a big game or something I don't know why I thought that anyway I'm hiding in the room going hey he's not gonna get me and then I hear do, 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 trying to open the door he's like open up the door you're in big trouble if you make me come through this door if you make me break this door you'll be in more trouble now Rawr. and then I was being a little smart so I'm like that I was, I was like, and you can't get me, I'm behind this door. I, like, I didn't think logically, like eventually I'd have to leave the room to use the toilet or eat or anything, because I was a kid after all. But he was furious, and then after a while, I heard stomp, 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 as he walked away, and I was like, okay, good. Uh, sounds like he's gone. I put my head up against the door, and I was like, <laughs> I defeated my dad, the dad monster. It's been taken down a notch. <laughs> and I was sitting here, and I was like listening to the door with this big, like, dirty grin across my face. And then I hear this, like, noise and I'm like what, what, what's that and I look around and now just so you guys know our house is, was actually like lifted off the ground like it was sitting on stilts because it was a possible flood area so we'll literally like one floor up maybe two I don't know exactly how I you know as a kid your perspective is all morphed and stuff anyway so I hear this noise and I turn around and I look and there's a window directly on the opposite side of the room and I see the window and suddenly I see my dad going crawling through the window like it's something out of the ring, you know, like that scene where the woman's climbing out of the TV. Imagine that, but a great big guy that's partially married, partially white type of thing, and just like full on like murder in his face type of thing. And he's not crawling slowly. He's crawling with the force of a thousand evil angels behind him. And he's crawling out of this window and I'm just like, ah, ah, like I didn't even make any noise. I just stood there petrified. So whenever you see those movies and you see someone there like, they stand still in the face of fear and you're like, oh, come on, just run away. Why are you standing there like an idiot? Just run you'll be fine that was me all I had to do was turn around open the door and go whoop, and make a scooter out the window oh sorry out the door out the window it would have been bad that would be towards him but out the door I would have been safe but no I just stood there going ah! type of thing as I saw you know the dad coming through the window and he's just come across the room and he's like boom boom I, I think there was like physically at one point a cabinet there and he kind of just pushed it out of the way like just you know like a feather type of thing and I was like oh god this is the moment I'm gonna die my whole life of like nine years that's flashing before my eyes it's extremely boring but you know um, it's coming to an end right now at this moment and he just grabbed me like literally by the clothes lifted me up pulled my pants and just 
on the knee, whack, whack, whack type of thing, okay? Whoa, my light just went crazy, one sec. So anyway, he's just like pounding away on my ass, like, you know, he's preparing, I don't know, mince for a meal type of thing. And after that point, like, I didn't black out or anything, but I remembered that moment. I remembered it so well. And every moment after then, it was like, if he even, like, his eyes just went towards that wooden spoon, or like, I just saw his pupil slowly widen, I was like, oh God, this is it, I better be quiet. And I never messed with him again after that moment. Or maybe that's a lie, I probably did a few times, I just don't remember him, and he was less brutal. But anyway, that was like the one moment I learned that you should not piss off an angry dad after he's had a hard day work and he's trying to watch his TV, whatever it was. I don't know what it was. So yeah, that was my one moment. Now I've got a question for you guys. Have you guys ever done anything that's just like when you were a child that just so peed them off that it resulted in your near like death, castration, I don't know, just resulted in badness. Lots and lots of badness. That is not even a word, but it is now. So we're going with that. So yeah, tell me your stories in the comments below. I would love to hear them. Cause I just crack up every time I think about that. Cause it's funny now, like when you think about it, but back then it was like, dear God, save me. I'm not even religious, but I will convert in this split second of a moment if it saves me type of thing. So yeah, tell me your stories. If you've liked this video, give it a like, uh, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. And if not, well then, the wooden spoon will find you and I'll climb for a window to get you. <laughs>